Do, do we have our titties and all, and our penises in their appropriate mm-hmm. spots? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of The Strobing Butt Plug. I am the host this week. I am me, Rom. And this week we have the amazing Missy and Ariana and, of course, Buddy. I literally thought that you forgot who you were when you were like, I am. I am me. <laughs> I am like, um, I am God. Did you forget your name? It's The Buddy. The Buddy. The Buddy. The Buddy. That's right. If we're going to be The Missy and The Ariana, it's got to be The Buddy. The Buddy. Uh, this week we are preparing our like Halloween episode celebratings. And so um, Ariana was like, I found the cool nurses scrubs Goodwill. And I'm like, hey, I've got that like hospital gown from years ago when I was in a motorcycle accident that I wear to scare children on Halloween. And hey, I'm an EMT, so I just used one of my old uniforms from a previous job. Thought about using the one from my current job, though, so it would have the logo placed right on so everybody could see it. The only thing I do differently for this versus when there's trick-or-treaters, I usually cover my face and, like, you know, just goop it with fake blood all over the place and I have a giant axe. Right. Should have done that. Should've. Yeah, well, you know, fake blood took time to go find. Let's drink beer. Yeah. Beer, okay. That's right. So I am the hostess this year. Week. This year. I'm the hostess this year. I am the hostess So he is the female host this year. That's why he's wearing the scrubs. He's going to get a sex change. I already had it. Anyway. uh, (laughs) Yes, I am the hairy son of a bitch. You guys knew this. You guys knew this. I am like a Chewbacca, okay? He's like, like a Chewbacca. <laughs> he is a Wookiee. <laughs> Hospital gowns open on the back. I'm glad he's wearing pants. <laughs> I thought about it. Oh, that would have been hilarious. That would have been so fucking funny. <laughs> there would have been a towel underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this week, uh, our selection comes from, let's see. We have the Cover Crop beer, which I bought like a month plus back. Okay. And I got it because I came back from like a tractor show with my folks. I'm like, ooh, tractor beer. I'm tractor mode. Yay. That's great because it's uh, like, was it, it's, it's obviously, I don't think it would be a Michigan beer because on the side of the barn there, it's got the state of Ohio. Well, it's, uh, according to this, it said it's a collaboration between North High Brewing and the Ohio Farm Bureau. Funny. So like college kids, you know, the Ohio Farm Brewing probably college kid project you know growing their own hops and beer I'm like we're gonna grow our own beer basically it's a college project how's that for a project um so we'll crack in this one first sure why not sure. i was just admiring messy's gold eyeshadow I like it's pretty cool. damn sweet it is very nice that's just cheap makeup i need to invest in some good makeup yeah i don't do eyeshadow anymore i should have but I haven't for years. I haven't. I just started doing makeup again because, like, well, I don't work as much anymore. So it's like, oh, I actually feel like looking nice instead of not looking like shit. Uh, I, feel uh, that. I think North High Brewing is out of Columbus, by the way. Okay, cool. Cool. Doesn't really have an ABB on there. I think it's just kind of like a normal lager. But according to the can, everything is made in Ohio. Awesome. All grown Ohio local. I know, it was just it seemed rather like your house seemed really quiet and so, it seemed so loud. So I'll, I'll go do the the, the porn yeah. shot real quick. It was, it was almost like being stoned and hearing things really loud. We have, even though we were completely sober. We have like a John Deere tractor or Ooh, something on there. I was expecting it just smell like bush light or something. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like boring, but Well North High Brewing is, you know, crap River Columbus. Well, right. Say. But mm-hmm. make I don't know. Ass. It's just like a farm Farmer. beer, you yeah. know, so I'm just Farmhouse ale type thing. It, it, it's, it's got like a very sweet green smell. Yeah. And it has, yeah, it's like pretty yeah. hazy looking. Mm-hmm. It's not an IPA, but it's still pretty good for hazy stuff. It's got a really clean taste, and it's not very tasteful. See, I've been putting it to the back and putting it to the back of the fridge here because... You say it's not an IPA? No. I kind of feel like it tastes like an IPA. No, I don't know. Like, it's just like a, maybe it's just not strong. Just an ale. 
but you know, it's got a weird. Oh, it says Ohio malt and more is what it's got on the thing. So see, it has like an I, IPA taste, like real quick, and then it goes away. But like, maybe it's like yeah, a I mean, it does. Ale IPA is the real cha- the real difference. There's just how many hops you have in. Mm, it's got a very uh, boring ass label. Doesn't say much about yeah, it. It looks like something that people around here would drink. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, people around here would drink, and you got the Ohio State whatever being involved in it. It's like you talked about it before government grade beer. Yeah, oh yeah. Government issued beer with government issued like you know whatever. That would be like the um, ball. It's it was it was canned by the ball canning company. Hmm. So it, it it's kind of like one of those. <clears throat> It would be like the the people and the hillbilly people in this area. They'd be like, "Oh, I'm not into that craft beer shit," you know. And they'd be like, "Oh no, try this beer. Oh, I love craft beer. This is the best damn beer in the world." It's got a track yeah, be, It must be good. It would be the only thing that they would ever really like in terms of craft beer. It'd be like my dad if I wanted to get him to try dad or brother if I wanted to get him to try craft beer. Come on, man, this is craft beer. I ain't gonna try that weird shit. I just want coolers. Well, right. look, it's got a tractor on it, and then they'd sit there and go, oh, yeah, this is a, a 1930 blah, 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 John Deere, blah, blah, suck my dick. They should have used an Oliver, blah, 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 and then it, they'd start drinking it. It's like one of those people, like, I don't know, people that are so set in their beer, like, they would go, and they, oh, hey, do you have Bush Light? No. And then they would walk back out because, like, they, they wouldn't settle for, like, a Bud Light or anything else. They, you know, yeah. be like that. that they would, that's their extent of the craft beer. But that being said, it's not bad. No, no I think it's, it's not bad, bad actually. It's, it's, it's kind of it's refreshing. I, I know it's got a weird refreshing. Didn't really like, see an ABV on the can. I didn't notice one anyway, but kind of like has a weird. It's got to be like a three four percent, just kind of based no, off taste. Probably not a three. I don't think anything. Any, I don't know. It's you don't see many. I mean, threes. your average Bud Light is like a three and a half ish. Four and a half. I think the smell of it kind of reminds me of apple juice or something a little bit. Hmm. I kind of was wondering if they put honey in it or something. It's got a sweet... It does smell like honey to me. Maybe. To me, it's like a... Hmm. Don't know. It's Well, it's got the, the refreshing taste. It reminds me of when we mixed the... Pap smear stuff? Yes. That's, a, that's like the refreshingness of it. It doesn't taste like it, but it has that refreshing factor. Mm. So, how the fuck we been this week, ladies? Been all right. Fine. Anything good happen? Bad happen? Anything happen at all? Quit my job. High five. Freedom. Oh, yeah. I was I was nice enough to give them like I just said hey you know end of the month don't worry next month about putting me on the schedule like I'm done. What what happened? Did something happen? Why are you leaving? This was totally unexpected. Like dude, it's always unexpected for somebody to leave. I just I gave you three fucking weeks like. And I just said, but if you really want to, and you can find people to do it, go ahead and fill the rest of my schedule because I don't want to work it. <laughs> that, that. <clears throat> and then somebody called off Monday, so he said, hey, you want to go home? I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. No, that, that's like me, man. I put the, talk, like I was talking earlier, put that little blurb on LinkedIn. Hey, yo, anybody got an IT job making about this much money near where I live? Right. And then, like, you know, in a day, I get in two messages for things making way the hell more than I am doing the same thing I am. And it's like, well then, if I get either one of those, that would be wonderful. Kick up. Back to what I used to make at Honda. And telling my boss, so hey man, you went on vacation and I had some cool interviews and I'm going to be making this much money at this other job. This is my two weeks notice though because I'm going to be nice about it. Right. And then he'll get all pissed off. It'll be fun. So yeah, I was just like, man, I don't even want to bring myself into going to work. So why did you quit your job again? Cause I'm fucking sick of private ambulance and I hate being tired and miserable and just feeling like blah, not having the energy to do anything. So I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do Uber from now on. That's cool. Nice. Not doing any private ambulance, not going to any department cause those don't pay either. And sit there and uh, whore yourself being your own boss. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to be. Gonna build businesses and shit online. Yeah. Well, I have more energy. I feel like I have more time. I have, I feel better so I, I have that more that creative factor to like do websites do this do this so oh. probably be able to add and construct and do stuff to our website too. that's good I, I, I totally <laughs> understand the feeling dead thing because doing what I do it where I work I feel so just like okay yes there's things to do but gosh, shoot me why I don't care 
My right. job's just super monotonous, so it's like... Right. I'm brain dead all day, basically. I just listen to podcasts all day, basically. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of cool. That's cool. So that's just like... So for me, it was I had a realization. I was kind of like, man. <clears throat> you know, I wasn't like super miserable. I wasn't unhappy as a whole, but I'm like... Just because you're not unhappy doesn't mean you're truly happy. So it's like, why keep doing the shit that you're doing if you're not truly happy? So I was like, I just had to change. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with that. Oh, I say yeah. bravo to you for not getting, yeah. letting it last long enough that you get pissed off and tell them to go fuck themselves. Like somebody <laughs> fucking did. rage quit. I thought about it. My mm-hmm. bosses are all right, though. There's no reason to really rage quit. Yeah. When I sent him the text, and he was like, what? what's, what's going on? Is something wrong? What happened? Did something happen? And I just, you know, like, why do you want to quit? And I, I literally wanted to reply with was, because I hate you guys. <laughs> Don't hate them. I hate working there, like, so bad. It's just you're continuously ran. And there's, you can work a 12-hour shift. Like, the, that's it. Like, you don't have the option to work an 8-hour shift. I'm like, ugh, I even hate these fucking 12-hour shifts. Um, talking about that shit and rage quitting, so... Because my boss has been on vacation all week, he went off like last Thursday. Won't be back till like Tuesday next week, which right. is cool. I have been running my ass off double time trying to keep up with all the shit because everybody that's usually like, hey, Rocky, this. And he's like, no. Hey, Rocky, this. No. I'm just like, okay, I'll do all these things because they need done. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I had to build like five or six new PCs since Thursday, which is a hell of a lot of work on top of everything else I was doing. Uh, one of the ones that was really, really super important. They had it done absolutely by yesterday morning, Monday morning. Oh, my God. On fire, top priority, all this stuff. Do all these crazy configurations to it. Cool. Uh, I gave it to the lady yesterday. Yeah, the guy that they hired. So remember when I told you about... Uh, 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 so I mentioned this the other day. There was a lady that rage quit on the work from home. Yes. Did I mention that on here or not? Mm, I can't remember. All right, so a few weeks ago, there was a lady that was a permanent work-from-home position. She started the job maybe a month ago. Last week, midweek, I think it may have been Wednesday. Um, That's why I didn't mention it. She sent this big goddamn box of stuff, which was like an entire work-from-home setup, uh, two monitors, uh, laptop, docking station, all this expensive shit, just shoved in this big, huge box. We weren't expecting it or nothing. The on fire priority laptop was this lady's replacement. They would come into the plant, get trained for two weeks, and then go do the work from home thing. They didn't even bother to show up. They're like, nah, fuck it, I don't want the job. That's funny. Um, it's just like, really? So I went to all the effort to build this new one for this one person, and uh, yeah, no need. She like walked it back over, and it was the first time, uh, like, cute, religious looking little chick was sitting in the office just cussing up a damn storm about how much this is shit and how bullshit this is and why doesn't anybody want to work? And I'm like, I don't know what they're offering them, but maybe they should offer them more. Well, Larry thought you rage quit. He thought you did it again. At Dan? Yeah. No. Because when he saw that box, he saw your post, and it was the box. It was on top of my car roof. Yes. I went over to the warehouse to go drop off something to be shipped, and when I was dropping it off, they're like, oh, hey, you guys got this box here. I'm like, oh. I didn't know we had a box there, and lo and behold, yeah, big ass box. You know, I, I, I my job is um, not worth rage quitting over. I feel like my current job is uh, limp dick. Your job is a limp dick. Yes, it's a limp dick. It's, it's not there. Hard. It's there. It's not hard. Yeah, it could be made hard and could be made useful, mm-hmm. but man, just look at that thing. It, 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 it's not even worth messing with, you know? Right. You, you don't you, you like poke it and it's just like nope that's great maybe flick the tip it's like come on come on do something so yeah um yep. for me i'm never gonna have any more uh bloody uh blood clot oozing dicks and stories yeah. anymore <laughs> that's a cool old pooper story uh, yeah no My- more blood clot oozing dicks a moment of silence for blood clot oozing dicks and that's enough of that <laughs> my my Plan is because see like I got sick of doing they had twelve hour shifts and I, I started doing those I was like I'm just gonna go to twelve hour shifts and tell them I only want like the nine a.m. to nine p.m. because they put me on all like noon to midnight I fucking hate that shit 
And he's like, well, I don't know that I'll be able to do that every week. And I was like, well, then I'll just have to start driving more Uber and do pick up Uber, you know, like do it like for all day on that day, you know, if I can only get it one day a week. And I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to be putting that much effort into doing Uber. I'm just not going to go back to work. Because my original thought was, well, because there's been times where I would do the 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then as soon as I would um, leave there, I would Uber till about like, I don't know, 2 in the morning, something like that. And then I would go home, but I would be like tired when I got up with the boys. It's like, well, I don't really want to be that tired, but fuck, I'll get up at not five in the morning. I was like, I'm gonna work till like eleven thirty. And that's that's like nineteen and a half how is it? Maybe it's, it's like seventeen and a half long, hours a day. Long damn days. I can't remember. It's I had it figured out what five to five, so that's and then like another seven on top of no, another six on top of that. Yeah, so that's uh that's an eighteen and a half hour day is what I would do. I'd be able to do it. 24 hour days and that's like getting up walking around having to lift people up unload them carry them upstairs and all that shit it's like if i'm not putting exerting physical effort i'll be able to do that like 18 hours no problem especially because when i like if i leave my house i have to like get up and then it's like the process of me getting ready and then i have to drive to work for about a half hour there's like already two hours burnt and then i'm there for 24 hours then have to make it home by the time i'm it's i got 27 hours invested in my day it's like, well, if I can just get up, not really have to get anything ready, I can have it all prepared the night before, just like, you know, get up at maybe 4.45, leave my house by five o'clock. I'm like making money as soon as I turn on my like app because I'll be heading towards my first ride. And then I, I almost always make $20 an hour from the time I turn on the app at my house. And it's like, well, if I fucking do that, and I do that till 11.30, Usually I have it set to t take me within 30 minutes of my house. I'll be home by midnight. I'll be in bed by one. That, that's like super fucking easy. That's barely a 20 hour day and I'll be able to sleep in my own bed. Like Do you stay pretty busy doing that? Too? Oh yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's pretty consistent. Like sometimes I might have to, it's usually like you will have someone that you're taking someplace and then you'll hear it go bing and then it picks up another ride. So as soon as I drop them off, I have to go straight to that other one. But then sometimes it'll be like there's no one in that like like on that second thing so i'll just wait in a parking lot and i'm usually not waiting too long or there's like i think it's called a flying ace car wash like i have a um basically a monthly subscription to that you can go unlimited times and they're all over the place so i'm like well fuck it i'll just try to find a car wash because it never fails every time i try to try find a car wash it'll like i'll get a passenger and i'm like fuck or else i'll be like i'll just go to the bathroom i'm gonna get myself a drink it's like i guarantee i'm gonna get somebody every time so it's works pretty good i would just do like um because you can each app only does 12 hours at a time before it shuts you off for six hours so i just do one of that for 12 hours and do the other one for like another six that's not bad Oh yeah, two days a week and then pick up, you know, extra on the weekend if I just want extra money to be selfish with. Yeah. So, are we ready for beer number Max two? Max out my write-offs. Yes. So, beer number two, I picked specifically because I thought the can was fucking badass. It does look pretty cool. So, it is Jack Yo's Original Destruction, a Heisey, uh, Hazy Citra Double IPA, and you're looking at 9%. Look at this fucking shit. Oh, oh, I didn't see that other side. Look at that shit. The, uh, the, the six-eyed awesome. tiger. Isn't that fucking awesome? That is pretty cool. I wonder if that's like a like a hidden euphemism. A six-eyed tiger, like some kind of weird sexual position. <laughs> so, six-eyed tiger. Like one-eyed monster yeah, here, There's the front of it, and here's the six-eyed tiger. Look at that shit. They had another one up there that I almost bought. But it was another like hazy IPA. Also, Jackie, it was just like two hazy IPAs for a night. It's probably a bit much. Yeah. Two nine percenters though. That would be awesome. Uh, the other one thinner. I think was a six. Uh, I was gonna be like, we would be trashed off of three beers. These grown ass adults just getting trashed off of. Now, this is one of those that they only did four per uh, four packs. So. Right. Man, I'm freaking tired today. What the hell? It's the, it was earlier. I didn't. It's the weather. I didn't have any, I mean, I had attention span, but I guess I just didn't have a whole lot to say about some things. And then I was drinking that energy drink on the way here, so I know that's going to keep me up tonight. I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. My, my only response is that, like, my day was dragging so much ass and I was so tired. Pretty much skipped lunch and 
I went out to the parking lot, rolled the windows down in my car, and I napped for an hour. Hey, that's that's that really strong. It does. I just tasted the uh, the foam because sometimes it's fun to just taste it. I, I can tell it's a. Uh, tell it's an IPA just by smell. That and well, it's, I can tell it's very citrusy. It, it does. It's well, when it says citra, when it says citra, it's probably referring to like citra hops, which I'll add to that citrus taste. Which mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's nice. It's got a good taste. It smells stronger than the taste. Nine right. percent. It's pretty strong. Let's get the. It's a double IPA. So they hop, they hop the fuck out of this bitch. I like it. It is pretty good. For, I mean, for an IPA. Yeah. Mm. Just gotta have the right, uh, the Citra ones. So speaking of IPAs and shit, and uh, high proof stuff. Um, yeah, I've been uh, checking on the uh, the Christmas wine. It is up to as of today. Uh, nine percent itself. Oh yeah, that's pretty good for a wine. Um, it's I'm gonna <laughs> let it sit there for till the end of October, and it's gonna be about eleven and a half percent. It's gonna, gonna get say, there. It's gonna get there. And right now, picture like a very thin apple cider that'll get you fucked up. Oh yeah, that sounds delicious. I got apple cider sitting in my fridge right now, I but it won't get me fucked up. I, did I had a fireball to it though the one day, and it got me fucked up. It was pretty all right. That that, that, that was, was all right. I bet it was pretty all right. It was. I um, I got made fun of because I uh, was using my coffee grinder to grind up cinnamon sticks and I poured cinnamon in there. It's like, didn't you just put fireball in there? Isn't that already cinnamon? I was like, hey, it wasn't. It was too sweet almost though. It was like really weird because I'll drink cider and it's really good. And then I poured the, the fireball in it and it made it like really sweet. Well, I guess it didn't really make it really sweet, but it was just like too sweet for an alcoholic beverage. I wanted it to be more fiery without it being something that's going to be super drunk. Um, yeah. They, I heard music. <laughs> there, there's a car that went by. Maybe they have like some thumping bass. Oh, no. Or you've just it's lost probably, your... Probably... It sounds like there's like a tractor or something out there. Probably. There was about a mile down the road going this way doing some shit. And there was like one, like um, a semi that they were... They might have been like filling it and shit and doing some stuff. It is harvest season and we are in the middle of the country. Yep. Right in the middle of cornfields. That's right. Yeet hall. Yeet hall, I like it. So what the fuck else is going on, ladies? Anything going on with Sherry on even quiet? Um, I mean, I was really busy all weekend, but I didn't actually do a lot. So, like, you know, I got my car worked on right after work on Friday, and then I, like, spent the night at the dude's house that night, and then... Boom, chicken, wow, wow. Uh, I helped a friend move the next day, which was... Actually, it worked out really well because it turned out like I got there and they had just finished unloading and were getting ready to leave to load up another truckload. So I was basically just sitting there for a few hours because there was like 15 people there. Oh, wow. I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, so I basically just sat there for two hours, got free pizza, and helped them unload one truck. I was thinking about that about my yard. I was like, you know what? How can I get all of the brush cleaned out? And like, I wanted to get like a whole bunch. I was like, I could put an ad in like, you know, on Facebook or in the paper saying like, you know, this many uh, what kegs are gonna be here. This, you know, free whatever. Bring yard tools. I was like, I might that might, that might work. Like it might. Well, that, what is that? Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that ease, though. What is that? Right. Odd, what is that odd job app that's like Uber? Would they would they let you put free beer if you come and do this? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Angie's shit. Is Western. that Handy? Well, there's one called Handy. Well, look, I was Because I, was, I used to do Handy. <laughs> I, think it's, I, used to get paid to, I used to get paid to do Handy. But, uh... I was thinking Angie's List or whatever. There is an Angie's List, too. Well, I did that Handy because the first one I ever did... Tell us about your first Handy. My handy. first one. Yeah. Well, well, my, so first, my first handy experience was, you know, I, I pulled up to the house, and it was a really nice house. It was, I think it was outside of Piqua, so I was close to your house. And when I was, like, getting... The man just walked up, stood outside, and looked down, he's just like, right here on the sidewalk. Well, no, it was a sweet old lady. And she was, so, like, right here on the sidewalk. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I uh, pulled up, and I was getting ready to walk up and knock on the door, and she came outside, and she, so hi, you know, I uh, she basically canceled her handy and she didn't want anybody to give her a handy and I was like really disappointed, and she, she said, well how do I? Uh, they she said that they came last week and that she didn't want she a came, handy then either. She, came she last did week. not come either. She did not came. I don't know. Maybe she had a bad handy experience. Mm -hmm. at the first she might have. And she was she was maybe she was wanting to cancel the handies so and she I wasn't mean, able I, to. I mean I've never had a handy by you, 
but I, I, I'm just going to state, you know, why pay somebody to do something that I'm the best at myself? Fair. But she uh, she did not want the handy, and then so she asked how to cancel it. I said, I don't know. You have to get in the app. And then she said, I think she said, like, one of her kids set it up for her. And I said, well, you're going to have to figure out how to cancel it. Because I my side of the app is completely different. I don't get on the other side. And it was really weird because, I, you know, I sent the message saying that the uh, customer canceled, and I still got paid for it. I'm like, damn, this poor old woman's getting charged for it. For it. And then so the next week when I was looking at things, I had it offered to me. I turned it down. I didn't want to take because I knew that lady wasn't going to want, you know, and I'm like, it's like, she wasn't going to want what? A handy. And so I uh, was like, I turned it, turned it down so I wouldn't waste her money. And I'm like, somebody took that. Like, because I saw it was gone within, like, I was like, somebody took that knowing full well. Like, I, I, people just had to know. And then I, uh, oh, my other handy, well, the, I think that particular day I ended up going to your house because you had the day off for whatever hey, reason. Experience. And so I hung out with you when, instead of giving a handy, <clears throat> but I, um, Fingery. one of the other ones I did, I had to drive out kind of far and it was really stupid. The lady wanted her house, she was really nice, she wanted her house cleaned and she just said like she didn't care how clean I got it, she just wanted it cleaned for her daughter's birthday. And she was a nurse so she was always working a lot of hours. <clears throat> and she came in, and I think she left a tip on the table too. Just the but, tip after a handy? Yes. Uh, it was before the handy. And I walked through when I was cleaning, I noticed um, like there was like firefighter stuff and police stuff. So I think her husband was probably like two or three of the firefighter, EMS, and uh, police. You're about to have a gnat in your beer. No! Those fuckers! Where is it? It's just all flying over your glass. But, um,. No, when I was in this house, it was fucking nasty. And it was just, like, dust. And they had, like, one dog, but there was, like, dog hair everywhere. I don't even think they cleaned ever. But they might not have always ever been home, and I'm kind of like, poor fucking dog. Like, it was so nice. It was in the cage. I wanted to let it out, but it was a big dog. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to fucking attack me. But it wasn't, like, mean or barking at me or anything. But I even, she's like... Yeah, if you could, like, you know, I want some of the walls wiped down. Like, they were so fucking dirt. Like, I, it was... Would you rather give them a real handy than clean the place? Probably. But, um... Because it was one hell of a fucking job to make, like... They just had... Both hands? Food wrappers. There was, like, food in the couch. Because they had, like, babies and stuff. So, it's like... Just... The shit was all over the place. So, like, I think there was even, like, a diaper under the couch. It, oh, no. It was... The diaper was in their bedroom. They're fucking bedroom was absolutely nasty she was really nice and i'm like i just couldn't picture her living like that for the small amount of time that i like talked to her and she was okay and then i the other the the one that made me quit that's you know because i was still debating whether or not it was worth it i went out to this old lady's like apartment type place that she was like i don't know lived in these small buildings that you you rent it you rent it your own space. Or I can't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> um, it might like a condo type thing. And I uh, I went in and she wanted me to clean. The place was nearly spotless, so I like you know dusted everything. And she got really pissed because you know one of the windows I didn't get clean enough. But I was like she watched me. She was there while I was doing it, so I was I didn't like that. But I'm sitting there like scrubbing the one side of the window, like trying to wipe off every little smudge. And then I'm on the other side, and she's like. She said I just wasn't doing a good enough job. I'm like, I think it's your double pain that inside it's like, you know, like condensation in there. Like they've leaked. They, there's something wrong. <clears throat> and then she had areas like in, on her sink that were really like, I don't know. I think just the, the finish on the sink was ruined. And just, I, cause I scrubbed on that and scrubbed and I couldn't get stuff off. And she, I, it was either, I don't even think it was water damage. It had to have been like build up of, um, hair product and stuff that just kind of ate away at the top of it and she's like I usually do better than this blah 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 I'm like fuck you bitch and then she wanted me to do extra she wanted to pay me to do extra and she wanted me to put this bed frame together and when she said oh well I just like it was like five or ten dollars I was like oh I don't have all the tools and I don't know how to do this when she had the stuff there and I could have figured it out I was like not for as much as you bitched and not for like five bucks right you can do a better job do it yourself Mm mm-hmm Exactly. It was, uh, I don't like giving handies for money, so. <laughs> right. It's just she didn't want to do it, but she wanted to bitch and nag every fucking step of the way. It was like, oh, I should have just fucking walked out and been like, bitch, fuck you, do it yourself. Her, her husband just died. 
And that would be even funnier because I looking back, I should have done that. You know what? Fuck it, do it yourself. You have all the time in the world she now was, that you're not taking care of a sick husband. She, well, <laughs> she was used to talking to her husband like that. Probably, I don't think about like, that. You're really. like probably like the first right. interaction she's yeah. had. She probably forgot how to like, interact. She probably forgot how to like interact with people on like a normal like social level. She didn't know how not to be a bitch. Pretty much, it does happen. That's that's true. I, I did factual. Those shoes look really fucking comfy. They are. They're like memory foam. Ooh. On the inside, but yeah. They're, they, they definitely complement your nurse's outfit. I know. I, I'm, when you were wearing, I'm like, dude, that's those are nurse shoes. They're like the perfect nurse shoes. <clears throat> right. They're a. They're a New Balance yep. Energize. They, I, I was kind of like, that's like works good. I actually, have a couple of pairs like different styles that are. Hell yeah. I feel like with your look you got going on right now, you could just walk up to anyone and be like, yes, I'm a nurse at this hospital. Please give me free stuff because I'm a nurse. That'd be funny. I'll put my badge from work on yeah. so it looks like I have a badge. Just going to put a red piece of tape on the bottom and then um, etch out the RN. You're good to go. Most of them are red places. Nice. Yeah. For the RN. Good to know. And now we're so I'm not teaching people everywhere how to break into hospitals and shit. So I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, like you know, they, they they have like all those you know first responders weeks and all this shit now, and somebody somewhere's gonna be like, oh my god, they're gonna fuck the first responder stuff. How dare you? And it's like, okay, guys, we're just bullshitting here. Come on. Well, you know, I don't. They usually do like nurse stuff inside the hospitals. I don't know that they give to the nurse because it's usually EMS week that they'll have sometimes place things that do food trucks they'll do outside the hospitals and so like when the ems rolls up on seeing they can go get their free food but i think there was one time only one time that i did the food truck thing and it kind of sucked all right like, so we got to look at zombie dogs the next time they're at a uh, hospital and we're going to go have you dress up and we're going to have you sneak us some free hot dogs cool i'm sad and upset and disappointed that that is no longer a brick and mortar place it's not. No, no. they uh, COVID shut it down. It went Co back to only being a food truck because that's Co what they used to they be. They were like barely hanging on as a regular restaurant, and COVID wow. shut it down. What? They were They've always busy there. They just weren't doing the. They were barely hanging on, and COVID shut mm -hmm. them down. They decided not to go back, and they just went to a food truck. I never. I, never I follow them. I follow them just so I knew where they're going to be. Oh. I don't think they were. I don't know. I wouldn't imagine them barely hanging on. They had all kinds of shit. But no, it was well, really... like, at one point, they tweaked their menu, so... What was it? They went from just hot dogs to having, like, tacos and shit, Tacos too. weren't that great. Yeah, well, they were trying to figure out something to, like, expand out what they had, and they were... Well, they were always ideas. changing their hot dog. Like, I mean, they had their, their regular things and their staples, but then they were always changing out their hot dog things. I, uh, it was really awesome because when... Because where I work now is based out of Lebanon. We're always in Cincinnati. Whenever I'd bring anybody, they'd never been there, never, never even heard of it. It's like, you will love this place. Come on, let's. And we would have to go to Dayton. I'd be like, let's go there. Like, I don't care if we're running late. I You'll like, love this place. I love the fucking like, zombie, <clears throat> the zombie motif and different monsters they have painted on the walls and shit. Uh -huh. I, uh, it was cool. I, my, my favorite, there, well, there was one that had some, like, pear pieces on it and some kind of, like, a, like a, vinaigrette type dressing on it that was, was like really good and then they had the, they called it the nightmare on brown street and it had it was um had like some strawberry jelly and jalapeno pieces and cream cheese on it oh it's fucking amazing it actually sounds pretty good it, it's those like the majority of them like who would eat that that's fucking gross they're all good like oh yeah, it's it's unreal how good those flavors. I'm kind of like they must have paid somebody to put them together, or they just somebody that had an extensive food knowledge or training of like culinary was making up those recipes. It was really good. That sounds interesting. <clears throat> I, might have to, I might have to see about going to their food truck sometime. Yeah, you. It, Do they have like less of a selection on their food truck, or is it? Kind yeah, of they usually. <clears throat> so in the restaurant, they would have. 12 plus different things they usually do like three i was gonna say i think they usually <clears throat> they ch change it all the time though. so like what they have today they'll have something different tomorrow okay. as that's how they ran it before because when i worked at integrity i would um i was if we were in the area of it i would be like okay let's let's go hunt them down and so it was like always chasing food trucks while on the truck and I, there was this one chick that i worked with at a uh, usa she wasn't like one of my favorite people 
because she always she's like, oh, this particular food truck's gonna be here. Like there was this really obscure place that we went that was like super like I didn't even think it was a big place. Like I, it was kind of more so close to out in the country. She's like, oh, I think there's a food truck over here. Like, how do you know where every, like, she knows where every food truck hovers within, I'm like, and then when she was talking to somebody else she had worked with, and she was like, oh man, oh, well the guy, he was um, recalling a, uh, a certain situation, she's like, is that the time that we ate at Panda Express? I was like, you are like, one of my favorite people. <laughs> she's like, she was like, I hate the fact that I associate everything with food. Yeah. Well, well, that sucks. <laughs> like, I, just, like, I just looked him up on Facebook. The last post says they're not booking any more events to this year. Oh, well, they're just not booking events. Yeah. They'll just be out. Um, let's see. But their last event, they had the Germinator, which was uh, garlic-crusted, slow-roasted beef topped with house-made beer cheese and fried onions. Oh, they never had one. Oh, God, they, had, uh, does. they had the Dead Dixie, which was dr diced green apples. That was good. Blue cheese crumbles, bacon and barbecue sauce. Uh, they had Calling in the Dead, which was... House made white truffle mac and cheese, which I always love that one. And that one's good. With garlic parmesan basic. cracker. It's their most basic one. Uh, smells like zombie spirit. Never had that one. Which was shredded Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, Thousand Island dressing, or brown mustard. And the other one they had listed on there for their last one was uh, Nightmare on Brown Street, which was roasted jalapeno cream cheese spread and topped with diced jalapeno, strawberry jam, and panko crumbs. All on top oh, of hot dogs. Nathan's hot dogs. So it's not cheap, like I don't know, like some people don't like all beef, but it, those hot dogs made it like super good. Let's see, they have. Helped, they also had one called the Nibbler, which was mm -hmm. basically a chili dog. Uh, Grandy oh. Zombie. House made taco dipped with, uh, house made taco dip topped with shredded lettuce, cilantro, sour cream, and crushed Fritos. I've never even heard of that one. That must have been one they did recently. Right. They had one that had like a buffalo chicken dip on it. I don't think I ever had that one. It was really funny. So when I worked at Integrity, I had this partner. Like, he was cool sometimes, but he, he just had one of those personalities that I didn't really care for. So And he was, like, always trying to be friendly when I was trying to sleep. So it was really annoying. And he was just loud and annoying. But um, I took him there the one day, full well knowing. Because like, any time we'd go out, he'd be like, oh, man, I always eat all this food. Well, he used to be in lacrosse when he was in high school, so he so, could. And now he can't do that. Two others they had. Ooh. Uh, Killer Gage, which was slow cooked buffalo nice chicken, top of blue trees, diced celery, and drizzle with ranch dressing. The one I never had called Blood Graffiti. Never heard of that one. Uh, pizza sauce topped with shredded mozzarella, provolone cheese mix, and pan fried pepperoni. See, they on had, top of a hot dog. They had one like that at, um, there used to be this place across from the Walmart in, in Clayton, and the kids loved going there. It was called the Dreamy Weenie. <laughs> Never heard of it. There's it, the one, here's the one you were talking about. It didn't about. last nearly as long as these guys. Here's the one you were talking about. Uh, sliced and diced. Roasted pears, goat cheese crumbles, mixed greens, that one was really good. candied almonds, and drizzled with balsamic glaze. Damn. That was really uh, good. One of my favorites was Wand of the Dead. Slow cooked to barbecue pulled pork topless. Ooh. Shredded Swiss cheese, dill pickle spear, and a little bit of yellow mustard. I, I remember one having a dill pickle spear, but I thought it was a different one. There might, might have been a different one. But no, anyway, so the partner that I had that I took there from Integrity, he, he got that, and they had, like, tater tots. But their thing of tater tots, because you, you could get it as a combo meal. So he got the thing of tater tots, and I, knew, I just took my kids there that weekend. And I knew that that order of tots was going to be super huge because you eat your hot dog, which everything t thrown on top of it is, is filling enough. And when, so when I took the kids, we just split a thing of the tater tots. Well, you know... It's like, man, tater tots would be good too, but I don't want to buy any today. But I'm like, I know Josh will, and I know he won't eat them all. And so he got them, and it's like, it was a huge fucking cup of them. And then he's like, you want these? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, man, you fucking knew I was going to do that. I like, sure did. I'm like, man, you knew it was that. I said, I took my kids here this weekend. Hell yeah, I knew that was that big. I was like, man, fuck you. You're sitting there like. <laughs> I did. I was like, as soon as he ordered it, I'm like, I'm in, because I know he's not going to eat them all. <laughs> I'm vaguely disappointed. I just got an email that I was ignoring until I had, was looking at the menu. Got my daughter's uh, school picture. She, like, dressed to the nines. And unfortunately, because, like, she did some, like, crazy shit with her skirt and sh shoes and shit, of course, they, it's, you know, from... Oh, here. yeah. Every school picture. That's disappointing. Take her but, out and take pictures of her just someplace. I'm going to do that with my boys because they didn't even bring forms home for school pictures. I, mean, I know nothing about them. Oh, that's, like, really cool looking, though. Yeah. I like it. Picture. 
Yeah, my kids, they, they know nothing about who, well, who, who took the pictures. I don't know. You didn't bring home any form? I don't know. We didn't get I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how am I supposed to order your school pictures? Right. And I just, I'm like, oh, I'm going to take them someplace and take some pictures. I ladies, think. ladies, right. ladies, I must interrupt your pitching about pictures. <clears throat> Are we ready for this one? Yes. This week's Mysterious Furious. So the fun thing is the, uh, the, the the Tiger IPA that I talked about, they had the other one. Mm -hmm. I was going to buy the other one and I was looking on the shelf. I'm like, oh shit. There's that. Because right before bed last night, I was literally thinking, man, you know what? That peaches and cream IPA is basically done. I should go with mass and bottle. I need to start another beer. What the hell should I do? Oh, I know what I could do. I could take the the... The, the chalky milk, and I could do this and this and this, and I could have this type of beer. Oh, and I could add this to it, and it would be fu that would be fucking amazing. And I was sitting there walking, and I'm like, wasn't I just I like this last I was night. like, basically, I was damn near thinking about and dreaming about this very flavor last night. Interesting. Right. And I think I may have even actually mm. had it before at the brewery. It's been a while, though. They only had one case of it, one pack left on the shelf. Looks kind of felt familiar to me. I don't it's know. It's very amber colored. I can already smell it from here. I kind of can, it but like caramel, maybe. Yeah. I was like, this is exotic. Oh, it's, it's got butter a caramel scotch. Match. Yeah. It smells like butterscotch. Ooh, candy. it is. It's got a weird. It, it almost that first sip tastes like a like a butter shots, but it's with vodka in it. Are we ready for the reveal? Or do you want to keep guessing? Oh, it's definitely there butterscotch. Might be some coffee in there or something. It tastes like butterscotch and yeah. chemicals. It definitely tastes like butterscotch. I think it's good, but it could be better. Yeah, it could be like sweeter or something. Hmm. It's it, but well. it's good. Salted caramel coffee. Muller's Brew Barn salted caramel okay, coffee. Okay, cool. Nice. And I think I had that the first time I was ever at Muller's. I, I didn't realize it till afterwards. It's just your typical Muller's can with that, and they got their their cock on the side. That's funny. I I yeah, it's it's it not lacks quite what I was envisioning, but uh, it smells amazing. It does. I was sitting there last night, laying in bed, and going, you know, I should try to make like a coffee stout, coffee something. I was like, well, I've already got the recipe for the chalky milk that was pretty good. How do I like my coffee? I usually like cream, vanilla, and caramel. The chalky milk's got vanilla, it's got cream, it's got some chocolate to it. I'm like, I wonder how I would go about making a coffee. Would I just take and throw the coffee grounds in the brew pot? Would I have beans sitting there soaking in, you know, the first stage where they're steeping? What do I do? I'm just kind of... Everyone. Do every single thing that you could imagine to with them. And then I was sitting there thinking, you know, if I make it like that with all the coffee grounds and all that shit in it, how much caffeine is that beer going to have? Buzz beer. That was uh, Andrew Carey. Yeah, I think you're right. That's, and it was. It was a coffee and beer mixed, and they called it Buzz beer. Because, you know, this is... Uh, that's that's funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, right, neither of You know, this is coffee stout, so I mean... Depending on how you make it, it's not like they're unless they're going to use decaf grounds per, specifically. Right. And I don't know, if, you know, what kind of laws are on that, but still. This is good, man. That's I like the coffee. Right. I like the coffee aftertaste it has. Mm -hmm. Now that I've had some more of it, it's not so. Percent. It doesn't taste so much like a chemical anymore. Five point three five. Yeah. I had to get that extra decimal in there. I didn't get the chemical taste to it. I did. It was Muller's, at first. It was like, Muller's, uh, from my experience. Uses a lot of artificial flavor, so the caramel is likely like a caramel extract. I, I can taste that shit. It's kind of like the couple times I've been there and some of their strawberry stuff when strawberries are off season. You could tell that it's like, uh, what was it? There was one time we went to Muller's and Troy and we had something that was strawberry. I think you said it tasted like um, a strawberry shortcake smell or some strawberry, strawberry shortcake soap you had smell. Yes. Had this, it was strawberry shortcake, you know, the doll had like this soap mm -hmm. and it smelled just like the soap. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. It smelled good. I mean, you know, and I think it actually tasted pretty good so it wasn't like a soapy taste. But I can tell the difference. I'm such a food snob when I cook. Like, I'm, I made something the one day, there was some caramel shit I did. I can't remember. 
I made something for the boys and then I made it again and the second time I did like a cheap quick version and I can't remember how I did the caramel differently each time but I know the other time it was like I just melted down some caramel shit and, did, and it was absolutely horrible and the boys were like no it's still good and they, they probably couldn't tell the difference but I could totally tell the difference between like the caramel I made and the caramel that I used from the store and I was like it was a good brand too I just so the, the problem with trying to the, the biggest trick for me in trying to figure out how to use caramel in there caramel is basically like all brown sugar isn't it Mm, you can do different things. I can't remember. It, when you boil, basically when it's boiled in there, it, it's going to be more or less just adding to the sweetness and the alcohol content after it's fermented. So mm. trying to figure out how to get the caramel flavor in there without using an artificial caramel extract type thing. Um, I'm pretty sure when I did it, it was like I think you can do like sugar and butter. No, this is baking, not beering. Right, I, I can't, but well, it's the way that you could do it, like, you could make an extract out of it. You would, basically making the extract out of it, you would, one way you could do it, you would soak whatever your caramel base you're using in, like, vodka or something, and then you would strain it, and then I don't, I don't know if you cook it to condense it. I, you might. I don't know if you do that with alcohol. Like the with vodka. Thought, see, the only other thought I had is going to go into Starbucks and go steal like one of their caramel pumpy things when they're not looking. Um, guess Speedways have them. I, I remember like fucking, <laughs> fucking. But that's like a flavor. Like if you if yeah. you're going through the effort to steal them from a gas station, buy it at a, a actual. They're um, at the grocery. I know. Like a actual, like a not the grocery even a actual. Um, like an like a herb, not, not like an herb store, like a pantry, like some kind of pantry that you could shop shit at. You use good words today. You have the bestest at words today. <laughs> well, I was trying to, I couldn't remember like what those places were called. The, 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 uh, the places that sell food, you, you know, groceries, those no, kind of no, stores. No, no, you're not going, you, you're buying it at a grocery and it sucks. You have to go to like one of those like. Like those, an Amish store type of place. Yeah, uh, and so you'd be going to a like pantry. A bulk, like, like a bulk Amish yeah, food that's store like they call, Yeah, you go into the pantry. You're buying from the pantry. It's like sometimes uh, what they call it the bulk pantry, the bulk food place. Okay. The Amish store. That's what I was kind of talking about. Flour barrel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you use good words. Like, I know what I'm talking about, damn it. As you're going to the pantry, you're buying from the pantry, not the goddamn grocery store. And you guys just remind made me think of the next dessert I want to make. <coughs> they when, can't when, wait. Ariel, I can't wait to put it inside my body. I thought he was going to say my butt. It's going to come out my butt eventually, but I want to put it inside me, Ariel. I want you. I want your thing inside me. What is it? Chocolate cake with caramel icing. Oh, yeah. This lady at work gave me the recipe, and it's freaking Sweet. amazing. Have I told you lately that I love you and your I, cooking? I, I was because thinking. Because I love you and your cooking. I, I was thinking what we should do is every time you make like food, because you do every week, we should talk about that too at the start. Be like, so we ate this today, and then we could like post the recipe and everything that you ate, that we made. We so, had. Th so this week she made chicken that was fuck worthy. Yeah. Fuck like you just want to fuck the chicken. It was that good. It was like cream cheese stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon. Hell yeah! And it was great. Yeah. Um, like I had her give me the recipe, and I like sent it to the kid. Again, actually, because I was thinking I was gonna make the recipe up myself, and I was like, okay, I could put like cream cheese and chives. Maybe I could do like cheddar and then maybe I could do like jalapenos and then wrap it in bacon. That would be really good. It was really good for what it was. Like cause I wouldn't have thought to put like, like she, a, she had like a bunch of like jalapeno popper stuff. Mm -hmm. She had like a bunch of them sitting on the tray and I was like it, at the time I was like I'm not that hungry. I won't take the big one. And then they were both looking at me like why didn't you take the big one? And then after the fact I'm like yeah why the fuck did I take the big one? Fucking fatty. Come on. And then we had grandma's canned green beans because I didn't have anything else. And grandma's canned green beans were delicious, and I took and ate them all. Because my zucchinis went bad. <laughs> they were um, squishy. <laughs> I usually, like the cat's head. Yeah. I usually have to, uh, I do a lot of like, I throw the stuff in breads and stuff. Like I have uh, some cornbread at home, and I have a zucchini that I'm going to mince up or, you know, like make it like zucchini bread, but it's just going to be the cornbread instead. Good. So I can make my kids eat more vegetables. 
Dutch make some zucchini bread also. Yeah, that's just good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're yeah, talking I made about, zucchini muffins, pancakes. Let's say you're talking about that lady like at work that giving away all that shit. And it's like, I miss the dude that used to give away like the giant goddamn tomatoes at Honda that I worked with. The goddamn tomatoes. Like this big, man. Like air those big fuckers. goddamn tomatoes. Oh yeah, big tomatoes are amazing. Tomatoes are disgusting. Man. That's funny. I don't think I knew that about you. What? That you I don't like tomatoes? Yeah. I've never liked tomatoes. That's really? I, I, don't, I don't think I ever knew that. Huh. I, unless cook, they're in like salsa or ketchup. Well, so you cook for us, sauce. we don't cook for you, darling. Well, I mean, I've known her for years, but I've never, no. I mean, I don't think there was ever a time when tomatoes were like a main part of anything to where we would have. I guess we need to pay attention if you, we ever go through a fast food place like Burger King and she's like, no tomatoes, you fuckers. Well, I was going well, I mean, to ask for no tomatoes, <laughs> even though I've hated them my whole life. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's, I think I've probably seen you do that, and I've probably taken your tomatoes. But yeah. I think for the majority of the time, like, we were always getting Happy Meals, and they don't put tomatoes in Happy Meals. <laughs> happy Meals. <laughs> Get in the fucking kids' toys and shit. Yeah, I remember that. I probably still have some of those toys upstairs somewhere. Oh, man, I was so jealous the time you got that little popper. I was like, damn it! Like the, popper. Like, you know, like that little, like, the thing with the wheels, and it has the balls in it, and you push it and it's like oh and it was like a little tiny one yeah, yeah. you, you yeah. got that i was like so mad i never got one of those I don't like know what i did with that it's really funny because larry always hated those toys and those were one of my favorite like I, everybody thinks they're super annoying but i would i love listening to the kids like they're loud and they pop and they're just i love listening to the kids like run with it like i don't know it was soothing to me I don't know. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that sounds so great. Yeah, she's like, somebody's outside with a machine gun. It's so soothing. <laughs> the soothing sounds of mass murder. That's, I've, that would be funny. I'd be like, oh, this sounds a little weird. The like, sounds of people. I mean, it probably would be. I'd be like, oh, that's nice. Well, they're not going to bug me. I hear it in the distance, so it's, they're not going to come this way. It's cool. Baby, I'm just going to go ahead and sleep now. All right. I about stuck my finger in your mouth, <laughs> and then I went for a slap, so good thing I didn't get him confused, because it would be like, <laughs> I thought you weren't doing handy stuff and fingery stuff well, we anymore. Found out how, how much he can deep throw. That's right. That's not, yeah, that's not handy. We're just seeing how much Ron can handy and deep throw. I'm skiing. Technically, you could get four dudes in that. Because you get the dudes here and here, you just like one full jacking. What the hell? What the hell was <laughs> you said that? that? It was it was a really funny. What the hell um, was that? I know. Uh, these guys were trying to figure out how many dudes could be jacked off within a certain amount of time, and it's for some reason they're like, then you have to do this. It's like, well, what if one of them's like really taller than the other? We're gonna have to size them up and have them stand like here and here. Well, what if one of them has a longer dick? It doesn't matter. They had like this one dude. They were like sitting there debating it. And they like this in YouTube was just like, I've got it, I've got it, and like ran off this piece of paper to all of his buddies, and they did this whole like. Oh, and I don't, I don't was like, this a show or was this like it might actual? have been on a show, because he sent me the clip of it and it was from YouTube, oh, okay. and that's like the dudes were just I don't know why they're. I'm like, to... is this an actual conversation that you guys had with somebody? <laughs> it's like the dudes, the dudes were trying, the dudes were trying to figure out how many people could be jacked off at one time, and that was their thing. That like I don't know how, who all was doing the jacking and. How, like, because it, it was kind of like, well, what if one of them gets off before the other one, you know? And then, like, I don't know, they're just putting somebody to stand in, you know, just swapping people out. But that was their thing. It's like, you could get four dudes at one time. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here, like, this sounds like an actual conversation that you guys would have with somebody. I like Ron's uh, search thing is how many guys can you jack okay, off? Okay, it was like, he's gonna get all kinds of videos and shit. <laughs> It was on the show called Silicon Valley. Does your, send the link to that um, our group chat. It, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that that is, that's it right there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna uh, yeah share. That'll be in our group chat momentarily. That's awesome. And Maybe I'll just like put that at the end of our uh, this thing. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna send it to the one. Like, I'm gonna send that one to the one with my girlfriend. I, I, be even better. I was gonna say. So I, I was thinking, send it to that one because she would think that's funny. Because she would, she'd get, she'd get the reference. She'd, she'd be like, "Did you guys talk about that?" <laughs> like you're sending that when you're butt plugging. More than that, I'm gonna send it to a couple other people. <laughs> Just out of the blue, there happened to be recently at the top of my list. That's great. 
Oh, yep, gotta send it to him too. He gets so relaxed and falls asleep and curls his little there. feet in when we're sitting here talking. Is there anybody else I need to send this to? He's just happy to be in some love. Um, Ooh, like attention. Kitty, kitty. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> I will text it to one person though. Yeah, I would put it in like the link, our YouTube link or something. Can I'll just uh, he can if that's one that you could probably save. Which I mean, if it was on a show and there's multiple copies of that video out, then you can. I send it to Zach, and he's it. like, "What's that for?" I'm like, "Just watch it." But why? It says jerky enough. Just watch it. <laughs> but I'm, you can. Uh, I'm supposed to go to a gender reveal party for this for Saturday for his kid, and um, I severely hope that it's a boy. Oh yeah, why is that? For the uh, gender reveal, they're going to have either Skyline Conies with wieners or Coney Buns. That's funny stuff. I really hope it's a boy because Coney Buns suck. I've never had a Coney Bun. They're uh, Coney Sauce. They're the hot dog bun, Coney Sauce, and cheese. Mm. The other one. Okay, so then, like, basically, because you can't tell by looking at them if they're, like, covered in cheese. You don't know yeah. what, until you bite into them. Yeah. Gender reveal. Guys, take a bite. At least they're not trying to burn the burn the world down. Yes. I, I was going to say, I remember seeing one, like a gender reveal that caught a lot of shit on fire. Yeah, like there was a wildfire last summer. That's what it was. Wildfire out in California last summer where people lit off a bunch of fireworks and like burnt up like, you know, hundreds of square miles of California. Smart. And then the people got pissed when they were like charged for all the firefighting and like whatever. That would be expensive to do stupid shit. You know. That's, you know, well, it's funny. I was going to say, you can't, like, you, you would never be able to pay for that. But with that, it's really funny. So I was going on this hike. So there today, there's this um, little place close to my house. And it's within... I think I, I know where you were at, I think. It's, it's probably within a half a mile from my house. And um, I was just out walking around. And right about ten minutes from the end of, like, when I made the loop... Like there was a this big pile of ashes that you could tell where they had burnt stuff there and they maybe put it out and then some I don't know like they threw sticks on top of it and they put in the fashion for a fire and it was I don't know if it rekindled or somebody started it back up on purpose. Probably rekindled if they didn't. I kind of feel like maybe it was. But I was like, what the fuck, man? And so I was like yelling, hey, anybody there? Hey. You know, like nobody. And I was like, that's fucked up. I was like. Should I report it? Like, who do I report it to? I mean, I've done bonfires in my backyard where I've soaked them down. Right. But I haven't, like, stirred it up and soaked it. Well, they they fucking threw straw sticks back on top of it. Like, there was, like, it was up, like, they hadn't burnt for very long, those brand new sticks. Mm. So I don't know why they would do that. They're dumb. I don't know. Um, But in, in, in a side note, I'm still being flirted with. So of the jobs that I've applied for, the one I told you that they've been fucking with me on for, like, close to a month now. I just got another email back from the lady here at 802 at night going, hey, so he didn't answer about this interview tomorrow, but we'll make sure you get it. I'm like, that's funny. Come on, Perry Protect, suck a dick. Because they're going to see this and we're like, well, I'm not hiring him. You know what? <laughs> I don't fucking care at this point. But, it uh, has been a fucking month since they started talking to me about this. Right. They haven't even had the goddamn interview for them to tell me they hate me. There. That's good. But, um,. No, so that fire was like, I didn't know who to um, report it to. I was like, man, this is going to be work trying to figure out who I should report it to. Because, like, for where it was, like, the fire department probably, it wasn't necessary to have them out. Like, you could have put it out with, like, a... Um, Hose? A can. This is where I'm not using the words good. Um, the fire extinguisher. You could use a fire extinguisher and then, like, a, a couple buckets of water. Pass. This one was the one I actually messed Pass. up. Pass. Pull, aim, spray. Yeah, it's pulling squeeze. There we go. Or spray. Either one. Whichever. But so anyway, so like, I was like, what the fuck? This, I was like, I, I actually had something to do within like five minutes of that time that I saw it. I was like, man, this is going to like take up, like it's going to fuck this up. And so then when I came out, like there was some people out. They're like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, oh, hey. You know, they're talking. How, you know, and I'm like, hey, so you guys come here often? They're like, no, actually, like, you know, we're like really good friends with the person that donated the land and we're from Kentucky. We just, we don't get to come out here that often, so we just came out here. And I was like, oh, because there's this fire out here, blah, blah, it's unattended. And I yelled for people and nobody showed up. They're like, oh, really? Well, we're getting ready to do a, go to a meeting like at two o'clock for this. And we just went, we wanted to hike before. And I'm like, oh, you know how to get a hold of those people. That would be great. So I was like, there's a fire right there. And it was like, just right around the corner. And so I didn't have to report it because the people, I was like, they were just right there. Nice. It was nice. I didn't 
know if people ever went to that place because I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle sitting there. We always use it for the kids' birthdays because it's, I mean, like, the, you don't have to rent the shelter. It's just there. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So we do that every year. And then... I didn't even really know what it was exactly. It was... It's a really small nature center. Like, the largest path is a mile. And I think there's three or four paths. I think there was, like, a yeah red, green, blue, and orange. And so I guess if you do them all, it's, like, the equivalent of a 5K. And then... It's, they, they made it like a lot nicer within the past couple years because there was like a bridge that was falling apart and the paths weren't too well marked and it's funny because it's such a small area that the longest path actually cuts through a farmer's field. There's literally like field here, field here, and then a grass strip between like the wooded areas. And um, I, boy, I think because there was a, a different area that had um, where they had a fire but all the ashes were like s flattened down and smashed. And I know that the, uh, I think the Boy Scouts camp back there because we had the boys back there when they were in Boy Scouts and then we went on hikes and stuff. But it's really nice because it's, it's not really overgrown, but it's also not super um, modified for people to be out there. So it's just like even your paths, you have a little bit of like a grassy area and it's just like big branches that have been probably fallen down or cut down is what's lying in the path. Like there's no gravel put on the path. Oh, it's just nicer looking to me. Because you're actually, it's like a, I don't know, a little bit more of a challenge to walk on it instead of like a smooth gravel path. Interesting. So. It's good times. Um, subject change. Subject we have, change. We have worn our costumes for worded. the worded, 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 our costumes. They are nurse and hospital related. Mine's not with any blood on it. Yes. And. Not the dead patient. That's right. We killed him. We couldn't save him. We killed him. It's because I was trying to fuck him, and they were like, "Yep, no, we're just gonna uh, inject you with this here uh, painkiller. It just happened to be rat poison." I'm a psycho nurse. Be before you go, before you finish that, because I said we killed our patient. I don't know if nurses do it, but anytime like in EMS, I don't know why we joke about it. It's funny, probably because we're sadistic and it's funny. But you have a patient, you take care of them, and you do everything you're supposed to, and they still die. That's your kill count. You're like, "Yeah, we killed another one." It's a joke and it's fun. So what's your kill count? I don't know. I, uh, Which, I, how many bodies have you buried this week? Not none this week. I didn't even work yet this week. Wow. If I had a kill count, then my passengers should be scared because I did Uber. I don't even think I did Uber yet this week. I did not. Maybe if you count Sunday. Mm. So depending on what my budget looks like, I'm going to start to I'm gonna work towards my next Halloween costume next week. My uh, dumb beard grew back all nice and full like I wanted. And talking about uh, doing Captain Spaulding from Zombie's House with Thousand Corpses. If, that should be easy. It's the, if it's the, not in your budget, then the you're outfit. fucking broke. Getting the clown outfit. I don't think he really wore a clown outfit. He did. At one point? He must have. He I'm has a clown outfit. I could just wear like a fucking wife beater. I knew, I, I, I knew he did face. that. I knew he did that and had suspenders or something and like... Just dirty looking clothing. Yeah. I don't and then the, the week problem. after that, we're doing our. That's work. right. I gotta get the rest of mine. And so, is there anything you guys gonna try to theme with next week or not? Because if not, we'll just save it for like whatever. So I think that'll probably land about Halloween if we do it next week, won't it? We have two weeks left. Yeah. Two Halloween. And we could do like the day after Halloween too. If you want. I was thinking that. Yeah, it's not like the first. It would just be like two days after Halloween. Or All right. Yeah. Okay. Because I think Halloween is like Sunday. We can we can just dress up anyway. Even though it'll come out like a week after, but you know. yeah, it'd be all right. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna say day after we could do Day of the Dead skulls. We'll paint our faces up with the sugar skull shit. Yeah, we could we could do something. Drink Mexican beers. I mean, it's an excuse, right? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so me and Missy have the one week, and then if you're doing Captain Spaulding, I don't, we can probably figure something out. Okay. So, so which week definitely should we do the one where we're going to have Ron in his outfit? Yeah, let, let's coordinate that. Is that going to be next week or the week after? Which, either one. It doesn't matter to me, I just well, know what so if, I can get so it Well, so, next week's episode... What day will it get published on? That following Monday? That'll be before yeah. Halloween? Mm -hmm. So I think next week we should definitely do something kind of along those lines. 
go for Captain Spaulding and all that. And, okay. And then you guys do something entertaining or whatever. The week after, yeah. Yeah. We have a costume plan. Okay. So I guess next week, that. next week we just normal clothes. Huh? I figured, well, I thought next week you were going to do the uh, Captain Spaulding and I was going to do whatever, you're, we were going to do whatever. Okay. And then the week after that we'll do ours. Okay. That sounds good. And I'll just figure out something to do after the Captain Spaulding and the matches. Well, we got, though, if, after the, well, well, we'll, we'll get your outfit. Well, yeah. it's a surprise outfit yeah. for you. You're dressed like a lady. That's right. We'll I'm get so you your pretty. girl outfit. I'm so pretty. Well, I have big titties. I mean, can you? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, don't if you already? I'm, if I'm going to dress like a lady and you're going to give me a bra, I need to have big titties. Okay. Bigger than yours. Big model, let me borrow one. <laughs> <laughs> borrow one of her tits or a bra? I don't know that you can quite, I mean, I guess we could just get a, uh, like, a, like, Photoshop her boobs on you, if, you know, to borrow her tits. And am I going to dress up like uh, the dude from uh, Silence of the Lambs? No. Uh, God, shit. It's another captain, dude. Uh, the, uh, the, would you fuck me, guy? I'd fuck me. Will you fuck me? I'd fuck you. I'll bring Jay and I can act like that's my little princess, my little precious. That's funny. And you can tuck your penis and... <laughs> and then you guys can be like, let me out of the basement. And then I'll throw like a lotion bottle at you. That's right. That's References. I, you know, if I had somebody throwing lotion at me and it said it puts the lotion on the skin, I'd be like, okay, cool. You know, I'm just lotion on my skin. I'm like, right. who cares? You make it a little cool, though. So right. Well, I'd, I'd be like, my skin's dry. I'm getting old. Fuck, put lotion all over my skin. And well, I you know why he wanted them to put the lotion on the skin, right? Right. Because, you know, he was building a fat girl suit out of them. And he wanted them to have their skin nice and moisturized because it made it easier to work with as, like, a material. Uh, well, but my thought yeah. is... My, <laughs> <laughs> but my thought is, it's like, you know, if you put enough lotion on your skin, you're, you're going to be like super slippery and it'd be easier for you to get away. That's probably true. Uh, true. That's a good idea. So I would be like putting my, I would just continuously lather myself up and be like, you know, and it's un unexpected, I'm just going to, I don't know, like. Buffalo Bill, that was the name of the character. I'm just going to run away and they try to grab me and shoop. Like, hey, uh, yeah, thanks for the lotion, dumbass. <laughs> then, you know, you're going to accidentally have some on your feet or something. No, I wouldn't do that. That face. wasn't dumb. Be like, not putting it on my feet. No, no. I'm going to rough my feet up so I have, like, massive traction and get some calluses built up so I can run and Spider-Man shit, climb up walls. It'd be pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. So what do you think we should dress up as for Ron's thing? Captain Spaulding. I was... I don't know. You have to do some research on uh, Rob Zombie horror films. I just dress up like Rob Zombie. Right. Oh, that'd be cool as shit. They, uh, there's, there's plenty. There's like quite a few of them that aren't even um, like House of a Thousand Corpses related and shit like that. He's in the middle of uh, making a monster. Monsters. One. And I heard it's going to be like R-rated. Really? Yeah. Um, I could like, dress up like the monster lady. That's what I'll do. Um, he, he's in the middle of making the monsters and I've seen like pictures they boasted of the monster's mansion that he's having built and he's being all like... Yeah, he's like really recreating He's right? being like crazy insane about the accuracy of it and mm -hmm. shit. Um, said that he's going to pay homage to uh, Herman yes. and uh, the Dragula. Yeah. Which, of course, that's funny because... Because he already did the song. Well, Dragula is what got him big and kind of broke him out in the first place right. as Rob Zombie after he quit White Zombie. So. Kitty. I just seen you eat a big old lump of hair. You go peep that up later. Right by the other cat puke. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're welcome. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, the buddy. So, do we have anything else left to chat about, ladies? No, I barely had anything to chat about at all. Right. Oh, so that's kind of like I just I had a pretty like calm and like just like. With the really weekend before nice last, week. where I was just running my ass off, this weekend it's just like, nah, ain't doing shit, nothing, fuck it. See, I ran my ass off all weekend, so I was like home for about five hours all weekend and. I had a decently busy weekend, but it wasn't too stressful. It took yeah, I took the kids to see the Venom movie, and that was a really good movie. Really? Mm -hmm. I have not seen the first one, so I had not got motivated to see the second one. Jacob wanted to rent the first one on TV, so we did that like last week, and then just 
partially watched that movie not too long ago. Not the whole thing. The first one was all right. Like, the second one was really good. But to me, like, it helped to know the first one. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a Venom, so I know who he is because he's like Spider-Man, but they like stripped out Spider-Man out of that universe. Yeah, it was. Um, Venom's a Spider-Man bad guy, but right. You know, so, so, but to see like, because when I watched the second one, there was certain things like you didn't know why he was doing certain things. So if you didn't, I mean, I don't know, I don't, I don't really recall in the Venom any other Venom movie, him doing these certain things. So when you're watching that first one, you're like, oh, he does this and this. And then, like, it just it made sense in the second movie why he was doing certain things. Yeah. Um, now, I did watch the new James Bond over the weekend. I didn't even know there was a new James Bond. I'm so out of touch with what movies they, are in the theater. They I don't watch were going to put that out right as the pandemic was starting. And they have pushed it back and pushed it back and took, pushed it back so many times. Right. Um, it was fucking fantastic. And um, Daniel Craig, the guy that's been playing James Bond, that was like his best one yet. And do we want spoilers or not, guys? Do you give a shit? I don't give a shit, but I don't, I mean, if other people don't want spoilers. Hey, fans, if you don't want spoilers about the new James Bond movie. I'm not a James Bond fan. Three, two, one. Do you care, Donna? I don't know if I'll even watch it. Okay. Three, two, one, fuck you on spoilers. Uh, So, James Bond, like... It starts off, you know, with one of the five years in the past things. One of the typical hot blonde Bond girls. He decides to, he's, he's married to her. He's deeply in love with her and all this shit. He is retired from 007 Bond ding or whatever. And he's going to, like, this ex-love of his um, funeral, like, or tomb where she's buried. And then, like, the bad guys would be trapped her, her tomb with a bomb. And he's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And, like, it turns out that, like, this new girl was, like, the daughter of one of the bad guys that played with the bomb. He's like, get the fuck out of my life, bitch. I'm done. That's funny. And then, like, five years later, um, turns out that, like, in the five years since he retired, they brought in another bomb, another 007, and instead of it being a white, white Caucasian male, it's a black one with nice ass and tits, which uh, apparently pissed off people on the internet, and I'm like, whatever. And the bond was wait. You said the bond. 007. Was Bond's a black guy? number was a black woman. Oh, oh, black woman. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And I, I, I was like, wait a minute. You said ass and tits. I was like, a blonde, a, a bond. A blonde that is a black woman instead of. Right. I was really white, confused because I was like, guy. why did you say right? You said the nice ass and tits, and I was like, wait a minute, hold up. Well, you know, she was working at one point in the movie. She was working like this whole sexy thing going on, trying to like you know infiltrate shit, and it's right. like, oh. And of course, the, everybody in the internet I remember reading was like pissed off that they were doing this to replace right. Bond. And uh, what was it? The big supervillain weapon of this particular Bond movie was this uh, nanobot virus that can tar- target DNA, and if you've got the DNA, um, like you and everybody in your family, be killed. Like by just me going. If I've got it, but it won't affect me because I don't have your DNA. Interesting. Uh, that was the big like bad guy thing in the movie, and it was created by the good guys, of course, because what the hell. Um, but like the tail end of the movie, like halfway through, that blonde chick that Bond said, "Get the fuck on the train, go away." Yeah, Bond like winds up running into her again because you know plot device, and yeah, it turns out she's got a uh, four-year-old little girl. Nice. With the same kind of eyes that James Bond has. And it is still, they are still technically married. And yes, yeah, James Bond's daughter, and all the cool climax happens. The villain kidnaps the girl and the daughter, and James Bond's like, fuck you, I'll get them. And you know, he goes and gets them back. At the very tail end of the movie, when you're like, yeah, everything's gonna be great, the, the villains stand there like, haha, fuck you. He, he made like a version of the virus that would kill like the daughter and the mom, and then infects Bond with it. So he could never touch his daughter or his, you know, his love of his life again. So at the very tail end of the movie, like the missiles that are coming and Bond always would make his like narrow escape at the end. Now you stand there on top of the building watching the missiles fall and you literally see the missiles fall and then blow the fuck up. So it's definitely Daniel Craig's last James Bond movie. Nice. However. Unless they do flashbacks. Right. Well, it, you know, every like 10, 15 years they replace Bond with new actor anyway. Well, my thought is pretty convenient that they had a a virus yeah it was interesting timing because the thing was written several years before covid and it was made several years before covid but 
at the time when COVID was coming out, it was really interesting because it was a lot of that, you know, you can't touch loved ones and stay back. And it's like, ooh, I could see why they pushed this fucker back as far as they did. There was a lot of um, virus movies that were released right before and right after COVID on, like, Netflix and shit. And it was like, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Interesting timing. Hmm. For, for but the why J- would there be so many? It's like the for, for the James Bond one, it's just like, man, so did they plan it that way, or was it just like, let's just push this back a right. little bit, guys. Maybe they'll forget about that part. No one will catch this bit. That's kind of, that's there was a virus created in a lab by the government who thinks they're the good guys. Nothing nothing related to COVID there that anyone thinks is going on, right? That's why I no longer say the um, conspiracy theorists are fucking dumb. Like... Hmm. Hmm. Like, this shit was planned. Like, all right, well, how many virus movies have come out before in the past? Like, that, you know, it's like now all of a sudden. Every zombie. Mean, not like a whole bunch Every of, zombie virus movie ever that's been around for right. how many decades. But, but it's like, there was like a, just like a mass amount of them all of a sudden. And then it was like, you can't touch your loved ones and just like weird shit. Well, I don't think that part was so much on that. It, it, I don't know how close they got to, like, you know, researching. The important part is they never, ever mention China once in the movie or bats. That's the important part. At least they didn't mention China and bats and flat earth. That's a good thing. They, they, they had Russia, Russian people. They had, they, they, the, the Chinese don't really exist like that. There they was a uh, Russian scientist that created this thing. There you go. But he's working for the good guys, so it's okay. Right. Uh, one of the more funny scenes in the movie... The, uh, the black chick was there trying to rescue him, the, the Russian scientist from the chief bad guy who made him reprogram the thing. He was like, you don't have to do this. It's okay. And he was like standing over the convenient pit of acid. He's like, really? You know what? I don't even like you. I don't like your kind. This virus can be programmed to do anything. It can be programmed to kill anybody. I don't need a virus to kill all of your kind. Looking at this black woman. That's, oh, wow. And That's... she was like, uh-huh. It's like, I fucking hate your kind. You need to go back to, and then just kicked her off, just kicked him off the top of this thing into a vat of acid and shot him at the same time. Ballsy. It's like, ooh. But uh, the problem with the black woman, James Bond, you can tell they edited the movie because uh, to uh, re- lower her priority, because you never heard her referred to by name, and she was just referred to as 007 the entire time. And at one point, she's like, uh, yeah, I don't want James Bond to be called 007 anymore. I don't want to be called 007 anymore. For no apparent reason. And then they never actually mentioned her name. Interesting. Anyway, enough of that shit. Shall we uh, cut it off here, ladies? Sure. We're yeah. cutting it off. I mean, we're our time. That's right. It's time. Past time. So did we learn anything today? Not really. No fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Then you should quit your job. It's yeah. liberating. Quit your job and do what you want. Jobs are overrated. And if you don't like your job, just don't be scared to get another one and do what you want to do. That's that's my takeaway. Um, yeah, especially but right anyway, now. I didn't learn it today. Mm-hmm. I, I, I taught that, it That's today. more of a lesson for our watchers. I, I taught it today. Definitely. If you're not happy with your job, your job sucks, find another one quit it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. You'll make it work. You'll figure it out. Did you learn anything? No. Quit your job. Quit your job. Quit, Quit your, your job. job. Quit your job. Quit your job. Start a YouTube series. Start a podcast. Make money. Fuck bitches. Do drugs. Do crimes. I don't know. I mean, that's how my life's going. <laughs> Fuck bitches. Do crimes. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> At any rate, shall we do the uh, thing? Sure. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The strobing bub one dot com. Yeah, the buddy. <laughs> Yucky, what do you do? Butt crust.